The NAFTA trade partnership is now officially gone. It's been replaced by the new United States-Mexico-Canada agreement. Now, one of the key parts of the deal involves a new incentive to build cars and trucks in North America. Joe St. George has a closer look at the big three changes from the new deal and what it means for jobs. Here inside the West Wing at the White House, there's not much President Trump can get Democrats to support. But when it comes to trade, he actually got a bipartisan deal done that takes effect today. For 25 years, NAFTA, which stands for the North American Free Trade Agreement, meant Canada, the U.S., and Mexico could trade goods without paying any tariffs or taxes when items went across the borders. Well, beginning today, NAFTA is gone, and the United States, Mexico, Canada agreement takes effect. I know what you're thinking. How does this impact me? Well, Democrats and Republicans Republicans blame NAFTA for so many manufacturing jobs moving overseas. This new deal hopes to give companies more incentive to stay in the USA. What are the three big changes? Well, in order to avoid a tariff, 75% of a car must be built in North America. 70% of the steel and aluminum in a car must also come from North America, and it demands 40 to 45% of the car be built by workers earning $16 an hour or more. That's important because right now that's triple what Mexico is paying many of their workers. Also in the new trade deal, dairy farmers get more access to the Canadian marketplace that could result in more profits for dairy farmers across the United States. So trade is complicated, but it's important and it just might result in more jobs in your community. At the White House in Washington, I'm Joe St. George.